All right, when it comes to the graphing problems, don't get overwhelmed. I break it into a bunch of parts on the test to kind of lead you through the problem. And just take it one step by one step. So if we're going to let f of x be negative 4 over x plus 1, find the y-intercept. When we find the y-intercept, remember we let x equal 0. So find out what f of 0 is. Just plug 0 in. Negative 4 over 0 plus 1. That's negative 4 over 1. And our y-intercept is negative 4. In part B, for what values of x is the function undefined? That's always going to happen when the denominator is equal to 0. So take the denominator of the fraction x plus 1 and set it equal to 0. Now solve it. That means x equals negative 1. Negative 1 will make the function undefined. And this is going to lead right to our next problem. In part C, I ask you to write the equation of the vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote is going to be the vertical line that makes uh, where our function is undefined. In part B, you just found out where the function is undefined when x is equal to negative 1. The vertical asymptote is the line x equals negative 1. That's it. So when you get to part C, just take your answer from part B and put it there. Totally done. Now, when it comes to horizontal asymptote, that's going to be a horizontal line. So its equation is y equals something. And that's what we've got to figure out. We'll determine what the horizontal asymptote is by looking at the degrees of the numerator and the denominator. Well, the degree of the numerator is actually 0 because it doesn't have an x in it. The degree of the denominator is 1 because that's x to the first power. Since the degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. The last part that I'll have you do before you get to the graphing is to evaluate a specific point. So here I just tell you specifically, find f of negative 2. So take negative 2 and plug it in. So we'll have negative 4 over negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. 4 divided by negative 1 is 4. Now the reason that I have you do that is you just found one ordered pair. You found an ordered pair that has a negative 2 for an x-coordinate and a positive 4 for a y-coordinate. This is going to be very helpful when we're doing the graph. As we come to the graph, just go through all of your parts again. So start with part A. Our y-intercept is at negative 4. So on the y-axis, put a dot and negative 4. Part C, the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 1. So on the x-axis, find negative 1. It's right here. I want a vertical line going through that spot. So draw a vertical dotted line to let you know that this is our asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. So on the y-axis, find 0. And I want the horizontal line passing through that. So that's going to be just our x-axis. Right? But there are our two asymptotes. The graph is going to get closer and closer to those asymptotes as we approach uh, the extremes. So from just this one point that I have, this y-intercept at negative 4, I know that my, my hyperbola, this branch of it has to go through this point. After it does that, it's going to try and get over to the asymptotes. So it'll look like this right after the right below the negative 4. And it'll try and get up to this asymptote as well. And it'll curve and approach that asymptote. This gives us one branch of the hyperbola. And so we need another one. That's why I had you evaluate f of negative 2. We have that point, negative 2, 4. So if I plot it, it's right here. Now I know that this is the corner of the graph where my other branch has to be. This branch of the hyperbola has to go through this point and then get close to not just this asymptote, but also out here to this horizontal asymptote. And now we have a very good sketch of the graph of f of x.